This is what? This was last out in 1853. See how big it was? Almost a solid land. That's why it was protected. But 1978, see how the erosion came in? See the little barrier over here? It was eroded. All they had was a sand barrier. Right there. Now they still got a little sand barrier, but it's been eroded. And as a result of that, the storm comes through here with a surge and start eroding this more and eroded all of this. See this gray area? There's no doubt on that. That's basically the same as you know it was. The red area has been eroded. And this is the acquisition that it's trying to build up again. So we really don't have that much. We just got to go where the red part's at. Now here, December 9, 1996, this is about approximately 15 miles from Raccoon Island to Wine Island. But this little green part, that's all the land that's left. The red part is where it originally was. So how are you going to strengthen that up? Well. You put my boxes on the land that's there right now. As I said earlier, that's going to protect you from the surge. And then you go ahead of it. And you put it where the land was. Get a spud barge, and then you start pumping mud. So you pump the sand in there. Now you restored about half of the protection. Now you got good protection. As money becomes available, then you can go behind it, put my more boxes. Then you get the spud barge behind, and you start pumping in the back. Now over time, you will successfully rebuild the Barry Islands to the degree of where it was before while maintaining a level of protection with my boxes immediately 10 foot high. Now when this was eroded 15 miles, the water would go in and out and it drew the sand that was protecting these uh, Isle of Brazil about a mile, mile and a half, what they call ship shoes right in the front. So this is where all the sand's at. You just need to put a spud board right here with a pipe, taking the sand and pump it right back into my boxes so you can have the same protection that our grandparents have. Today, this is what it's talking about. See the little land I told you about? Right now they're uh, experimenting with rocks that's along the uh, last part of Raccoon Point. It's retaining a little sand, not that much, but at least it's doing something out there. As you can see, the water just goes through rocks. It's not a solid mass because, uh, you know, it pen penetrates through it. And so what I'm suggesting is, you put my system right here, you drive the pile and drop my boxes. And there you got a levee on top of the Barry Islands, 10 by 10 by 20. Then you add the boxes, 10 by 10 by 20, you keep on doing it. Now that wall protects the surge that's coming in. Now when more money is available, what, 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 what you go ahead and do is, you put what I call my barriers in the front. This is going to take the, the hardest part of the buff, then the roads have a left over, it's going to catch on this one. So that's my one one two protect, uh, protection right there. Then you can start pumping sand in between those as well as inside. Then you can pump in the back. Now you're starting to restore the, the uh, island or barrier island anywhere else in the world. Now this is before and this could be after. I'm, I'm just simply giving you a choice. Then you can continue to recapture all the land. This is 10 foot by 10 foot by 82 foot wide. Here, you put your little barriers, and then you can add the mud, I mean the sand, and then you continue to do it. 